Today we're gonna to take a quick look at these Home Depot sheds that you could actually live in. So this first one is a tough shed display model and as you can see, it's actually on sale for four grand. You've got this really small window going on in the front and this really nice swinging door here that has a window on the top Take a look at the inside real quick. And I, uh, I don't really have any way to measure the inside of this thing for you, but it is extremely roomy. You could actually, for sure, live in something like this if you were to outfit it correctly. And we have the Tough Shed features right here. A no sag floor. So as you can see, it actually has reinforced steel bars that are under the flooring and this prevents sagging. And one cool thing about these sheds that you'll notice if you look closely is that these are solid studs. These are not finger jointed studs or anything. It's really high quality materials. And it shows an upgrade there for treated floor decking. Now everything that you see like this is an extra charge. So just a little pro tip, if you want the cheapest possible option, you would want to buy something like this directly from Tough Shed and not from a place like Home Depot. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. This one is advertised at being 4320. This is a 10 by 12. You've got the window on the front, the door on the side right here, and there's no window on, above the door like the other one. So the inside, uh, just uh, as expected, is exactly the same. You got the vents that you can see up there in the corner. And you also have an upgrade. If you look at the ceiling, you will see that there's a radiant barrier. And I imagine that you would really, really want a radiant barrier in something like this, which they sell as an upgrade. Although again, you could do it yourself or just buy this directly from Tough Shed and have someone else do it for you, probably for much cheaper. They do not unfortunately advertise how much those upgrades cost, but I'm sure that's probably where they make the most of their money. Again, it's very, very well built. Tough Shed, in my opinion, is probably gonna be your best bet if you want a quick and easy, tiny home style shed built on your property that you can actually live in. Now, none of these sheds that I'm showing you are actually tall enough for a second story. Although, what you could do if you put some kind of platform up here and you had a ladder, you could for sure have an area for extra storage or maybe even an area that you can sleep in. Here we are at another Home Depot location and this is a Tough Shed 8x12. This particular model starts off at $31.85. Now, obviously this is gonna be on the much lower end of what you can get with Tough Shed, but uh, it's still pretty damn roomy and really well built. Again, this is an eight by 12. Not something ideal to live in, but if you're in a desperate situation. All right, so I got the door propped open so I don't die in case this thing actually closes and refuses to open. But this is what the latch looks like on the inside in case anyone's curious. Pretty small, but you know, again, when I talk about livable sizes for stuff, it's completely subjective and some people could do amazing things with even such a small space. We've got the sign again, the Tough Shed flooring being advertised. The fact that they do have metal beams going under the floor to prevent sagging of the decking. It is absolutely hot as hell in here. We are in a Texas summer right now, like uh, 
one not of recent memory. And uh, you've got the vent here. It's got a nice little mesh on there to stop the critters from coming in. And again, again, you've got the uh, full length studs. These are not finger jointed. These are just really nice old school full lumber studs. And that's the eight by 12. Here are the last two units that are models at this Home Depot. We have a 10 by 12 that starts off at 4320. And it's really, really nice, that's for sure. Whoever painted these did a great job with the gray and the black on the door. And there's a nice little picture of what you can do with this thing. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Wow, this one's really roomy compared to that last one. As you can see, this is one of the demos that show you how you can mount tools and stuff on the end if you want to use this as a tool shed. But it is very roomy. It has these nice three windows and the same vent up there that you see in a lot of models. It also has a radiant barrier that you can see right up here. All that tinfoil looking stuff, which is something you definitely want in a hot climate, especially like Texas. On the other side, we have another vent at the top. And this thing is really roomy. I mean, you could actually probably have a second level right here, like a half level for storage or for sleeping. Yep, that's the 10 by 12. Again, that model is 4320 starting out. And it's important to understand that starting out means it probably won't have everything you see on these models. Okay, so this second one is also a 10 by 12, but if you look at the roof, you can see that it has a lot more top storage up here. It's more built like a barn on the inside. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, 10 by 12, this one is 46, 47 starting out and the inside is exactly like the other one we just saw except for if you look up there's a whole lot of space up there which is really nice for sleeping for storage or you know just like a little loft or something that is really nice so this is definitely a really good option under five grand 10 by 12 with a second floor. It's probably one of the best value tough built sheds that I've seen. And I'm always very impressed with the construction quality. Anytime I do a video on these things, people make comments about how they can build it on their own. And that's true. You could build one of these on your own for much cheaper than, than paying a company like Tough Shed. But it sure is nice to have someone else build it and know that it's being done right instead of going out there and doing it yourself or finding your own contractors. It's also really nice to have a warranty. So that's something people need to understand when they say they're going to build one of these on their own. One of the differences is that one of the differences you've got a five-year warranty on this one, which is the Sundance series. So again, that's 46, 47. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope this helps you out. Goodbye.